and welcome back to the channel. I'm Rosie, we're the Tosterman Sisters, and it's Monday, which means a 10 minute workout. Total body, and we are going to be using a kettlebell today. So if you've got one at home, please grab it, join me for the workout. If you haven't, then do any of our other 10 minute workouts on a Monday that are body weight or dumbbell, if that's what you've got at home. See you on the mat. Hi guys, and welcome to your total body kettlebell workout. So grab your kettlebells, we're gonna start with a sumo deadlift. So take yourself to the side, take a sumo stance, so that's toes tracking out, nice and wide stance. What you're gonna do is lead the way, so roll shoulder blades back and down, squeeze together. You're gonna lead the way with your hips and bottom to tap down and shoot up. Noting that as I track that kettlebell down to the floor, it's going in a straight line. It's not going wibbly wobbly, it's not going wonky donkey, <laughs> Going in a straight parallel line to the floor. Tapping out, squeezing through. Let's go, move number one. Kettlebell crazy. 10 moves today, 45 seconds on each. Push yourselves. Woo! Try to keep that back nice and flat. Like, uh, what has a lovely flat back? <laughs> I don't know. Five more seconds. Three. Two. Last one. Squeeze. Excellent. Come feet together. You're going to take that kettlebell through one hand and what we're going to do is we're going to track down one leg and then squeeze to the top. We're going for a single leg deadlift. We're going to do actually the whole work time on this side before we switch and change. So you're hinging like you are going into a 90 degree angle between your torso and supporting leg. If you know I'm keeping quite a nice soft knee in that supporting leg. It's not completely locked out guys. This one you should be feeling it in your bum. Woo! In your, in, not in your quads, <laughs> in your hamstrings. Okay, so really feel the peach burning through for that full 45 seconds. Move number two. Keep pushing. Woo! Keep your balance. Every time I look to you guys, unfortunately I'm getting a bit wibbly, wobbly. Okay, we're done. Change sides. Other side. Get ready to go. Grip that kettlebell. Keep it close. And this is where you'll see which side is stronger than the other. When I'm balancing through that left leg, it is a lot harder for me. What side is your strongest? Left or right? Or are you equal on both and asymmetrical? Susan, keep going. <laughs> Push through. Oh, do you feel that peachy burn? I definitely do. Keep going, we've got four more seconds. Squeeze to the top, let's get one more in. And squeeze up, fantastic job. What you're gonna do next is face to me. We're gonna take our stance nice and wide and you're gonna do a lateral lunge and switch. So first off, I'm just gonna demonstrate. Push hips and bottom back. That kettlebell is close to that working leg. Come middle, change and drop. Should we start all together? From here. Let's go guys. Push and drive, hips and bottom back. Counterbalance that weight with the outstretched arm that's free. And let's push. 45 seconds of work. You've done four exercises by the end of this, all of which have been a leg burn. Let's go. Keep moving. Push yourselves. Can you feel those legs? I sure can. And we've got the wrap back. Keep going. You can comment today and let us know. Have you done all the workouts? with us since March or since Feb. Last one and rest. Well done. Okay, what we're going to do next is take ourselves to the side. You're going to take through one side a nice high pull. So we're going to do a single arm high pull for half work time. What I want you to know is that my elbow is tracking higher than that weight. Ooh. Push through. And I'm trying to keep my core really nice and tight. I always say, imagine if I'm to soccer punch you in the tummy. Would you win or would I win? Last one. And we switch that arm. 
high pull, other side. Keeping that kettlebell nice and close to the body. Elbow coming high. Drive through. Woo! Should be feeling. That upper body, burn. Keep going. Is your core still tight? Can you defend all soccer punches coming your way? Push through. Three. Two. And one. Nice job, guys. Let's come back facing forwards. We're gonna do a combination swing. So you may have done this in a previous workout. We're gonna track back with our hips and bottoms, swing to Russian, swing to squat, swing to Russian, swing to squat. Let's go for 45 seconds. You should have been working on this and you should be bang on with that coordination. Let's go, push through. If it is a bit too much with the coordination, then just go back to back Russians and push yourselves for that 45 seconds of work. Come on guys, keep going. Yes, push through, feel the burn in those legs. Three, two, and one, rest. Woo. We are flying through this. You are on move number seven. All right, we're gonna go into underhand grip. I want you to curl it up, press it overhead, tap down, release the curl. We're gonna get those shoulders and those arms. Let's go. Keep moving. Push through. Yes. Move number seven. And then we've got three more left. Have you got bulging biceps and strong shoulders like Arnie? Come on. Or like Lucy, she's got a fan. <laughs> Five more seconds. Three. Let's get one more in. Two. One. And release. Good work. Now what I want you to do is maintain that kettlebell at the chest. And we're going to go for an alternating reverse lunge for move number eight. Straight in, guys. Let's go. Push. Getting nice and low through the legs. Like a... Hmm. I keep being like, back flat like what? Lunge low like what? <laughs> lunge low like you've done every video so far. Keep pushing. Come on guys, you're smashing this. Two moves after this, and you are done. Woo, woo, woo. Keep it going. All the way. 45 seconds of work. Three, two, and one. Woo. Release that way. Are you ready to work your obliques? So, <laughs> Turn to face me, you're gonna have a hip width stance. Kettlebell through one side. What are you gonna do a side bend? Working into those obliques. Whew. What you wanna do is make sure that you're trying to keep that chest nice and in line with you. As you shift down to the side, you don't wanna do this. <laughs> you wanna stay nice and proud, core nice and tight. And let's push and get stronger. Oh, that side to side strength. And switch. Other side. Half work time. Woo Keep going. How low can you get? Tracking down that side. Using that core to pull you back up. Push through. Do, 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 do. Three, two, and one. You're on to your final move. Okay, we're gonna go from that side view. And the last one I want us to do is just, we're going to go regular swings, okay? But if you really want to push it, you can swing up overhead or you can swing here, hinging at the hips. Let's go with me. Are you using your bottom? Are you squeezing it tight at the top? Push through. Move number 10. Finishing with a bang. How heavy are you swinging is the question. You may have heavier than me. Badass kettlebell 10 minutes. 
You may have the same as me. I'm at six kilos. Let's push that pace for the last move of ten. Bish bash bosh. Five, four, three, two, last one. Swing down. Woo. Rest that weight down to the floor. And guys, you absolutely smashed that. That flew by. I feel like I could do that all over again. What about you? Could you do it two times through? If you've got an extra 10 minutes today in your day, do it. Give this video a like. Comment below what you loved about it. Did you feel your heart rate come up like me? If so, well done. See you soon for another workout.